Hey YouTube versus Jam Fletcher. I'm gonna do a little rant about just anything I feel like talking about. Like today I'm gonna talk about my rant about Christianity or, or and the stigma of atheism. And I am I'm certainly a proud atheist. I will um that's what I love. Wow. <laughs> yes, I'm a proud atheist. I'm very proud to say that I am one and I'm the stick of the stigma here. Like I've seen like a lot of video I've seen a lot of people at least. I've seen a lot of videos where a kid comes out to his parents saying he's an atheist, and they flip bat shit on them. And I'm just sitting there like, why are you getting so angry at your own kid for just, just saying what they believe in? And you're allowed to say, like, you're a Christian, and you're, you, there's a God out there, but when someone says there is no God, you fucking flip out at them. And it's just, I think that's just totally hypocritical right there. And when I came out as an atheist, my parents didn't like it. My mom didn't like it especially. And I just dealt with it. I was just not... I dealt with it. I just told her I couldn't stand it anymore. Hey, you going to church? It was stupid. They take money away from you and build more churches instead of building hospitals. Like, really, dude? Come on. All right. I know there's a verse in the verse in the Bible about charity and shit like that, but I believe a lot of pastors use that shit for their own personal gain. And where I live, at least, there's like four fucking churches in one street, one vicinity right there, seriously, you can walk to a church from another church to a church, I literally live like a minute away from a church, like I can, I'm, I can look at the church from my window here, oh, behind me, whatever, I don't give a shit, anyways, <laughs> um, but yeah, um, Christianity, I believe, is a rather hypocritical thing with, well, let's start with the biggest thing right there, my mom told me when I came out as an atheist that you're going to hell, I'm like, well, if I don't believe in a heaven or a hell, how am I going to hell then? She goes, well, you just are. Okay, no problem. But what I, th what I, what I thought, at least, is how come hell is hardly in, the, hardly in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament, it's in there like 500 fucking times. It really is. Like, look it up yourself. Um, I can't give you exact details. And another thing is that they say Christians think the earth is 6,000 years old. At least in the Bible it says so, too. And every time I bring up that argument, a lot of Christians get a butt hurt. And they're just like, what the hell, really? It's not 6,000, it's, it really is 6,000 years old. You're stupid for believing that. And, excuse me, my phone going off. Anyways, um, but yeah, they just get all pissed off that you say 6,000 years old, but really it's like 63 billion or, 63 billion years old, excuse me. I really should have looked up some shit before I, uh, started making this video. But, I know it's definitely way over 6,000 years old. Carbon dating dinosaurs, everything like that. The funny, you know, the funny thing is, dinosaurs weren't even in the Old Testament. I know dinosaurs were way before humans were existing, because humans and humans and dinosaurs didn't, like, collide together when, they weren't living together. That's a better way to say it. So, but definitely they weren't in there. If God was all-knowing, all and here's the biggest argument I have here. This is what really got me. If God is so omniscient, how come we have to pray? If he knows your life is shit, why doesn't he prevent it? If he knows it is shit, and you're going through a hard time in your life, why do you need to pray to ask for help if he already knows it's going to happen? That's what I really want to know here. Explain that to me. How come they have to ask for so much money? How come they're tax-free? How come there's like 80 fucking churches everywhere you see? How come... How come they say the world's flat? How come they say the earth is the center of the universe and that the, the, the earth stays stationary while well, everything well, revolves around it? I know that's a verse in the Bible. I remember reading it. I just have the worst memory ever. But that's how it usually goes. How come Christians are allowed to flaunt their Christianity in this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's really what got me. It was a lot of the contradictions. Like, seriously, I, I want to post a picture on this video. There's this picture I found on 4chan. And you see, like, the Bible here, and then you see, an, like another, I think of another text. I think the Old and New Testament together, and you see like, you basically see like it says the contradictions at the top, and it shows like a bajillion lines everywhere intersecting between each other of what verses uh, contradict each other, and I just think it's a lot of shit. Like if you're a Christian watching this video and you get offended. Get off my video, seriously. Don't post, don't comment on my video saying I'm an asshole, I'm not right. No, it's free fucking speech. If you're allowed to say there's a God, I'm allowed to say there isn't. And I just really hate that shit. And I hate when people say you need Jesus, I don't need shit. Um.
So that's just really my rant right there, because I, I hate how the how Christian and just religion in general, not just Christianity, just religion in general has affected our world. How violent everything has gone. Like I remember one time I was talking to my mom with, because she's a hardcore Christian, as you may have noticed. I went to church with her a lot. I was forced to go a lot too, because the fact that she got so mad. And there's one time I said. I'm not going to church, and she almost wanted to make me pay her like $500 in rent. Well, my job isn't even make close to that shit. Well, at least at the time I did. So I was like working like minimum wage. Now I'm making like two bucks more, not much more at all. But I'm um, no like. I asked her one day. Oh yeah, I asked her one day about the birth of Jesus, and I remember it quite a bit. When Jesus was born, they went to Bethlehem. I believe it was in either the book of. God damn it, David or it was in the, David and Luke, Luke and not David, the book of Joseph and David, I believe, it was David or something, I don't know, whatever, and one of those, Luke and David, that's gonna bother me all night, whatever guys, just correct me if I'm wrong, but there's two different books that Jesus was bo explained in, how he was born, when he was born in <laughs> the nativity scene or whatever it was, see I need to research this more, I'm a little, I'm a kind of a, idiot when it comes to atheism, I'll admit, at least I know a little bit more than I should remember, but with it, back on topic, ADHD sucks, um, when he was born, my mom said it was completely normal that they killed all the babies in Bethlehem just to find the real Jesus, and she said it was just fine, she acted like it was nothing wrong with that, and I'm just like, okay, so butchering babies is okay, just to find the person that you think is born is in your city. I believe that's really how it was. I, I just think it's really just a load of shit. That's really all I can say. Um, it, there's some facts that may be a little twisted. Like mostly, I can't really remember very much. I, I don't want to get details out that I don't remember. But I know that with the birth of Jesus, there's two books. And yeah, it's really fucking dumb. Um, just comment, subscribe, link. I'm gonna do a lot of video game videos as well with my hobbies, I love video games, and that's something I'm going to collect a lot, I, the reason why I'm looking that way, I don't want to point the camera over there, because room's a fucking mess, I have a big old file cabinet full of N64 games, like uh, SNES, N64, a bunch of old gaming magazines, all kinds of stuff, so yeah, just uh, comment, rate, subscribe, definitely just, I will have a lot more rant videos, if you want to have a debate with me, like if you want to like, video response to me with a bunch of questions, and with my opinion at least, I will give my opinion on those. Uh, definitely, I'm looking forward to it. Hope oh, there's not a lot of trolls on here. Haven't posted a video in like three years. Alright, guys, thank you so much and have a great day.